Hello, everybody. Uh, this is DFS Chan coming to you here to talk about February 15th um, or 16th, rather. Um, four games late, um, two games in China and two games in Korea. Um, just a little recap, quick recap about yesterday's slate. Um, we had a pretty good slate yesterday um, for a different reason. I think we predicted that the EDG JDG matchup would have the highest kill upside. Just looking at the total kills over under number that was set by Vegas, but also the combined kills per minute metric that we look at on a, on a, on a, on a slate basis um, for that, for yesterday's slate, um, the CKPM was the highest for that matchup. So, you know, so that, that's, that's kind of the reason why, um, we picked EDG in some of our lineups for GPP purposes because, you know, I think any team, even an underdog um, in that matchup, you know, had the high potential in terms of kill upside. So really, like, you want to get a piece of that. Um, if nothing else, uh, if you are looking to decide, like, which underdog to play, I think that should be one of the key factors that you should consider. Um, and then obviously if you think any other underdog would win straight up, I mean, that's obviously another good reason to pick, but if you are kind of stuck, uh, I was kind of stuck yesterday in terms of like picking an underdog. I was like, which underdog should I choose? Um, not LCK because the obviously LCK games generally, generally are low kills, but, and amongst the LPL teams yesterday, um, EDG JDG matchup had the highest kill upside potential, so I pick I, I pick EDG for that reason. I didn't necessarily think EDG would win, even though I kind of talked about um, that JJ or EDG's jungle control percentage was actually pretty good comparatively, even though they were inferior to JDG's overall in the LPL. I think EDG had the third best jungle control percentage, so it wasn't like they were scrubs. So I think you know it's not it's not completely unexpected so so anyway so let's um go into today's slate um today we have rng versus fpx uh team we versus lng and then um in the lck we have fred and brion or i guess brion versus uh damon kia or d plus kia <laughs> and then kwangdong freaks uh versus gen g um, yeah, so as you can see, I've kind of like done the research already um, before I started recording this video. Um, you can see that total kills over under set at 24 for the RNG FPX game, 25.5 for the Team WE LNG game. So that's the highest on this slate amongst all four games. And then in the LCK, we have 19 and 20, respectively, for kills over under uh, set at. Um, the Gen G versus Guangdong Freaks being the higher of those two in Korea. So let's go into each matchup. Um, RNG versus FPX. RNG is a slight favorite at minus 275. Um, they've been playing okay this season so far in terms of eye test. Um, in my opinion, like Wei has been kind of, uh, you know, shined in some some situations and then he just disappears in their losses right so i just feel like rng goes as way goes because angel and gala i mean they've been pretty consistent in my opinion angel after he got the nod to start finally um i think he's been okay he's not i mean he hasn't been anything like spectacular to write home about but i think he's been better He's he was he's been better than Tang Yuan, I think, for that uh for that mid lane, I think, for their their backup mid laner rather. So I uh, like Angel in the mid lane. Um I do think he will struggle a little bit against Care. Care has been really good for FPX, but I'm not a huge fan of hacker and at the jungle position. Um let's look at what the metrics tell us. Um, looks like jungle control percentage FPX has an advantage for a hacker, but that 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 number is a little skewed. Uh, I'm gonna say this number is a little skewed because FPX used to start how yeah instead of hacker at jungle. Let's look at um what the difference is. Uh after 
uh, hacker you uh, hacker started. So I think that's a better sample sample to look at. FPX and RNG. I want to see when did hacker start his first game for this split was february 3rd so let's look at that real quick i did not look at that before i started recording um so yeah you see the jungle control percentage at 4.9 percent advantage for fpx but i mentioned that hacker started on february 3rd and Let's change this and see what happens here. So 4.7%. So nothing, not that bad. So, yeah, I mean, it's not that different, but that's surprising. Um, but you see RNG says 45%. That's pretty bad. So let's see what that means. Have they played against tough teams? I want to see who they've played against so far. RNG has played against OMG, decent team. IG, really good team this split so far. They've lost. They've lost. They've lost. They've lost. Like one, yeah, I remember this losing streak. One, two, three, four, four series losing streak, and then they beat Team WE. So are they bouncing back? Are they um getting their gaining their form back? I don't know. That's a good question. Team the JDG and EDG. You saw today EDG beat JDG. So these two teams are, I'd say, elite in my opinion so far in the split. Um, and then LNG has been really good. IG has been really good. So like these are really like four playoff teams that they played against. They've lost to, and then Team WE. Yeah, I mean you see that they're not as good as these four teams that I just talked about. So let's look at FPX's uh, <clears throat> strength of schedule respectively. They've beat, uh, they've lost to team WE. They've lost to BLG in best of threes and then ultra prime. They beat them in two to one. Weibo gaming has been a little fraudulent. This, this split so far, they've been up and down and Invictus gaming. Like I said, they're a pretty good team. So let's see. They should have won against Ultra Prime. They should have won against Team WE, but they lost. But that was early in the split. Um, Weibo Gaming, yeah, I mean, they lost 0-2. to two. That's like a little concerning to me. So I do think RNG has to be a little favorite. Yeah, which they are. Um, and as mentioned, like, I think RNG's jungle control percentage suffered a lot because of those four tough teams that they played against. Um, and FPX played against fewer tougher teams like that. Um, but everything else, RNG is favored, including way individually over Hacker. Um, slightly though, I think he was, he had 20 extra um, earn gold per minute advantage um, in favor of Way versus Hacker. Um, I do think RNG should win this, but FPX is a live dog. Um, I think Way has been okay, but I, like I said, I think Care has been really, really good in my opinion so far. Um, Yeah, I mean, you see Care leads in kill share percentage for the team. Um, and then kill participation, you see the bottom lane has been pretty dominant. Um, let's look at this. Yeah, the, the bottom lane has been pretty good for FPX. Now, are they going to do okay against... Um, Gala. And I think I saw some 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 metric that Gala actually was has not been that great. Let's see. Yeah, Gala's down here. But then they, he played like I said, they played against some tough teams. 
Um, but 289 is actually not too bad. Um, I do think... LWX and Gala back to back here. So it's not like they're that much better, right? Like I think they're about even in terms of the metrics here. Um yeah, I mean they're about the same. So I think it comes down to the jungler, in my opinion. Um, but it looks like Hacker has been okay. Um Way has been not as good, but like I said, they played against tough opponents. So, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd, I'd probably play both teams, in my opinion. Um, but if I have to choose the winner, I'm going to have to go with RNG. Just because I think, um, like I said, I think the numbers are a little skewed, and my eye test tells me that Wei is better than Hacker. Um, I think Hacker has been okay, but I think Wei definitely has shown that you know, he can shine in spots like this against like an inferior opponent in FPX, in my opinion. And I think Angel being in the mid lane, you know, uh, provides a little more, um, you know, foundation for the team to play around. I think Gala had to make a lot of plays, you know, before Angel's a uh, had to, you know, Angel got the start. I think with Tang Yuan in the mid lane, I think Gala had to carry that team quite a bit. Um, late game in my opinion so I think having Angel starting I think that actually helps a lot of his teammates for RNG so I'm gonna say RNG wins 2-1 to one, but FPX is a live dog alright the next matchup is Team WE versus LNG this one um, I have LNG winning um just not because the metrics all <laughs> all of the metrics actually favor LNG. And then Tarzan has been really, really lights out in my opinion. Um that's I guess that's the eye test portion of this analysis. I like Tarzan quite a bit. His Maokai, the last series that he played as Maokai, he was just amazing. I think he's probably the best Maokai player at jungle um in the LPL, in my opinion. Um, he was just dominant. He was building damage on <laughs> Maokai, which is unheard of. Um, but he actually has done it well. Um, and he actually won the game uh, with that carry. So and I think that's a mismatch between Tarzan versus Hung. I think Shanks has been really good for Team WE. And then Hope's, actually, Hope's mat metrics are actually off the charts. Um I do think Hope has been really good. I think after a disappointing season, at least postseason, um, for JDG last year, and then he got, you know, he signed with Team WE. Um, I do think LP and Hung will struggle. Hang um, will struggle a little bit, but I think Tarzan and the Scout has been really, really good. I think he's been the best player, um, best mid laner in the LPL, arguably, um, so far. I think having played him like burning out, I think at EDG, um, not being the focal player on that team and now on LNG where he is the focal player along with Tarzan, I think Scout, you know, I think is helped out a lot by that. Um, I do think Scout will go toe to toe against Shanks. Um, I think that's, a, that's a key in my opinion. I think team WE's a lot of team WE's wins have come from Shanks dominating and then hope carrying late game. Um, I do think Tarzan will neutralize Hung, if not dominate Hung at jungle. And you see all those metrics dominate um, are dominated by LNG. So I'm going to go with LNG um, two to one. I am more confident in LNG to win um, compared to RNG, just based on the metrics that I just saw. Um, I do think... <clears throat> um, this matchup, Team WE versus LNG, has the highest kill upside. And so I think that naturally makes LNG a really, really good play. So, yeah, I'd say for LNG, I would I would focus on Tarzan and Scout and then LP after that. In the LCK, we have Fred and Breon uh, versus D, uh, D plus Kia. D plus Kia is a big favorite at minus 700. Um, Breon has been okay. 
Um, actually, Umti at their jungler actually has been really good. And his, his stats, when I saw them earlier um, doing some research, were really good. I mean, I think he his stats are a little behind can Canyons for Damon uh, D plus Kia, but Umti actually comparatively in the LCK has been a pretty solid jungler for uh, Breon. Um, so that tells me that maybe Breon has a chance to take a game off of Damon Kia, maybe on the red side or blue side. It depends. Um, actually, blue side probably because Umti likes that. Um, but, um, but. You know, you see the total kills over under for this matchup at 19, and the combined kills per minute is at 0.57. Anytime it's under 0.6, that's really, really slow. And I think um, just given all of that, all of those negative factors about this matchup, um, even though Damon Kia leads all the metrics except for, um, I think OMT actually led in some metrics over Canyon, which is, like I said, surprising. But, you know, I think Damon Kia should win here. But is he, are they going to win 2-0 to zero and with kill, good kill upside? I don't think so. I think either of, the, either of those could happen. Um, it's more than likely that either of those could happen. DK wins 2-1. to one. Uh, It could be 2-0, to zero, but then, like I said, the kill upside is pretty low. So, but, so I would not target any of these two teams. Um, but maybe use one of these teams or Damon Kia in the team slot just to differentiate your lineup. Um, tonight. All right. The next matchup or the last matchup on the slate is Kwangdong Freaks versus Gen G. Genji is a huge favorite, and I agree. I think they actually, I think they should be a bigger favorite. Um, you see, Damon Kia is a bigger favorite over Breon uh, compared to Genji over Kwangdong Freaks. I actually think Gen, I think those odds should be flipped, where Genji should be more favored. Um, I saw all the metrics that favor Genji. Um, also, Peanut over um, Kwangdong Freaks jungler. Um, What's his name? Young J. Um, I do think, you know, I think this is Gen G. I mean, unless they're like in a letdown spot, which I don't think they are. And this is a second game, second series of the night. And I kind of put an emphasis on that before um, I talk about that, you know, if uh, elite teams like Gen G and Damon Kia, it's more likely that they uh, fall into the letdown trap um, if they play first, because Gen G is going to be at the, at the, at the, low park at the league of legends park game park in korea um watching Dawan kia and if Dawan kia struggles or loses a game in the series that will motivate genji quite a bit it is less likely in my opinion elite teams in the second second series of the night um falter um and then you know fall into the letdown spot so i, I just don't think that's going to happen today i think genji with all the metrics favoring them and Peanut dominating um, over Young J, I think Genji should take care of business here. I'm going to say Genji wins two to zero, and the kill upside is okay and better than the other LCK matchup. So, yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll probably sprinkle in maybe some Genji here and there, but, you know, we'll see. I, I, I'm actually pretty confident that Genji is going to win here. Um, I think that's probably my most confident pick amongst the four games today. And then obviously LNG, I think winning probably next. And then the other two matchups are more of a toss up. I think that one Kia should win, but like I said, OMT has been pretty good. Um, so it could happen. And then the matchup produce it's, you know, it's projected with the lowest kill upside there. So I don't know if I'll target any of that. But then FPX versus RNG is an interesting one where I'll probably get a get a share of both of those teams just because um, the, the metrics FPX leads RNG and jungle almost by 5%, which is quite a bit in the LPL. So anyway, so that's all I got for you guys today. If you guys have any questions, please let me know. If you like the video, please, please hit the like button below. Um, otherwise, good luck out there. And then, yeah, feel free to reach out if you want to talk Lee. Thanks. Have a good one. Bye-bye.